Um, you know, we all know in the industry that, that you don't get 100% transfer from analog solder to, to substrate. And I've only seen it written one place, really, uh, where anybody even treats the subject of how much ink transfers in, uh, from the analog to the plate and from the plate to the substrate. And I've heard that number to be about 50% transfers from the analogs to the plate and about 50% transfers from the plate to the substrate. And uh, let's, just, let's just assume that's true. It might be some, in some case more or less, more from the analogs to the plate, more from the plate to the substrate, who knows, but let's just use 50% transferring each time, okay? So, if we have 1.55 micron thickness of uh, wet film, right? And only 50% of it transfers from analogs to plate. And then 50% from plate to substrate. We take the 50% times the 50% and we're actually going to take 1.55 microns times 25% and that'll be our wet film thickness according to those transfer properties, okay? So we take 1.55 times 25% or 0.25 and that equals a film thickness of 0.3875 microns okay that's that's a, a you know a third a little bit more than a third of a micron so um, it'll take you know almost a hundred layers to equal the thickness of a hair in wet state now once the ink transfers to the substrate um, you're going to get either water or solvents flashing off in the drying process and the ink is going to get even thinner okay so I, I can't tell you what the final ink film thickness is going to be. That's a function of uh, how uh, concentrated the pigment was in there, the, the resins, and all of those sort of things. So I, I can't touch that one. That's one to discuss with your coating maker or your ink manufacturer. But I can tell you that in theory, we will transfer 0 0.3875 microns of ink wet to the substrate using a 1 BCM analog roll with 50% transfer from analogs to plate and 50% transfer from plate to substrate. So a very, very, very thin film, okay? Well now, it just so happens with that appreciation, now we can calculate theoret theoretical ink consumption, okay? So what do I mean? How, what I mean is, if I have a job, let's say I have a flood-coated job in the narrow web arena, and I'm going to print so many feet of this. How much ink am I going to consume? So let's, let's figure that out real quick. 